Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions and we're going to take a look at Civil 3D 2014 and uh, importing Land XML files and also having a look at creating uh, volume surfaces. Um, first of all, let's insert a Land XML file. So we'll go to the Insert tab and uh, you'll see the option for the button in here. Land XML is simply a non-proprietary uh, data standard, so it can be uh, transfer uh, the services between various different vendors, so you don't have to be tied into just using one type of software. Uh, you can see in here I've got a grading site, it's an XML format, um, again it's an international standard, and as soon as I hit OK I've got various civil 3D settings like adding it to sites etc. Well, I'm simply going to hit OK and you'll see my surface, my grading surface will come up along the top. It also populates it now in my Civil 3D, so I can simply interrogate it, I can change the style, um, we can have a look at uh, quick profiles in here or longer cross-section information um, about it. So you can see the cross-section through our site, we've got a bit of a grading area in here. So let's just erase that and uh, change the surface properties so we can see it a bit more clearly. Um, and um, we'll change that to 1.1.5 uh, meter contours. Okay, so for me to create a volume surface of this, so they actually calculate where the cotton fill is because um, I haven't created it in Civil 3D, so um, it's come from another uh, non-native Autodesk format uh, or package. Um, I'm going to go to my Analyze tab, and in here we're going to use our Volumes dashboard to do this. So we're going to create a volume surface. Um, we're going to specify our base surface as the existing ground. This um, is a surface that's come from another vendor. This is a grading one. We've imported it as Land XML, so we can now use it in Civil 3D. If I simply hit OK, it'll actually calculate what the net cut or fill is. Uh, we can add in other conditions such as uh, uh, cotton fill uh, bulk refactors in there. So we can see um, we're in a, a net cut at this stage. Um, but it actually has created another surface, and this is our composite or volume surface in here. So on our surfaces, um, I want a better definition of this, um, so we can actually see this from a, a level perspective. So I'm going to put my other surfaces on border. Um, I'm going to take the triangulation one off here, and um, I'll simply add it on to 0.1.5 meters. So with this surface, if we looked at the surface properties, um, we can actually add an analysis on it. I'm going to pick two bands, and I'm going to simply calculate where I need cut and fill and I want to display it on the screen. So that's the minimum level going down. Let's take that to zero and then for the maximum level let's take it from zero going up. So the minimum point uh, we have to dig down is minus 4.286 uh, uh, meters and the maximum fill is 2.287. Uh, so again let's add in the appropriate color code. We'll make it yellow, we'll make it green. Now you won't get to see this immediately on the screen because I've changed the style, um, the surface properties. We need to physically edit the style to say make sure we add our levels in and take off any other uh, features that we don't want to see. So now we can clearly see where our fill is and we can clearly see where our cut is. And this surface has actually come from non-native uh, Audrey software. Um, and we've made it as part of the Civil 3D surface uh, feature now. So let's get some levels across this. Um, so we're simply going to go to the annotate. Um, we're going to add in our surface levels on a grid. Um, we pick our surface up. Um, let's do that again. Um, surface, spot levels on a grid. Um, we can pick our surface um, simply in here. Pick our first point. Um, I'm going to say rotation is zero. Spacing's five. Spacing's uh, sorry, sorry, ten and ten. Upper right hand corner. Again, it will snap to these points anyway, so you can't go outside the 10 meter spacing, and it prompts you to confirm. Simply hit enter, and it'll add my levels in. So you can see the levels um, for the uh, cut areas, and you can see the levels for the fill. A question I'm normally asked is about exporting this data out, or um, if you want it as actual points. And well, what we can do in here, an important feature of the change, is how your point information, remember this is just annotation in the drawing, um, how your points um, are actually created. So under settings, we're going to have a look at our commands and um, how points are actually created. So on our points creation, we're going to say, well look, we don't want, want to actually prompt for any descriptions because it would ask us to verify the description of every single point. I'm simply going to say none. So if I hit apply and OK, 
I'm ready now to add some um, actual point data which I can export in here. So on our surface, on our points, um, we add points to the surface on a grid. Um, again, we can pick our surface up. Um, we can pick the lower base point, specify the rotation, specify the size, 10 10 meters. Again, it will verify the upper right hand corner. We verify it and um, let it run. So you can see those points in there. Again, we can very simply change this in the uh, tool space. But so you can see them in a the prospector, I now have a whole series of points. All these points can simply be uh, copied to clipboard. Um, you can copy this information out. Um, you can put this then out in a text file, etc., in there, or you can put it into Excel, and you can actually reuse that content. Um, I'm Dave Golly from Pentagon Solutions. Thanks for listening.